Hi, class. Today we are going to learn other modes of transportation, mainly focusing on container transport, international multimodal transport, and land bridge transport. Container transport is a modernized mode of transportation that uses containers as transportation units. Currently, container shipping has become the dominant mode of transportation on major international shipping routes. It is advantages in improving loading and unloading efficiency, facilitating vessel turnover, enhancing transportation quality, reducing cargo damage and loss, saving various costs, lowering freight expenses, and simplifying freight procedures for convenient cargo transportation. It integrates traditional individual transportation into cohesive group transportation, promoting international multimodal transport development. Container goods transportation can be divided into four container load, FCL, and less than container load, LCL. The handling and handover of FCL is mainly done at container yards or the gates. While LCL is mainly handled and handed over at freight stations. The container transportation modality, known as whole container delivery and container unpacking reception, is called CY, door to CFS. FCL, FCL stands for full container load, full container load. The transportation options for its containers are door-to-door, -door, or door-to-CY, or CY-to-CY, or CY-to-door. Consolidated Container Interchange, Whole Container Interchange. This mode of transportation is known as CFS-to-door, CY. Consolidated Container Interchange, Container Disassembly Interchange. This mode of transportation is known as CFS to CFS. After discussing container transport, let's move on to international multimodal transport. International multimodal transport refers to the transportation mode in which at least two different modes of transportation are used according to a multimodal transport contract by a combined transport operator to transport goods from one country to another or a designated delivery location within another country. It is a comprehensive and cohesive transport mode that has emerged and developed based on container transport. Generally, using containers as a medium combines various traditional single transportation modes, such as sea, land, and air, to form an integrated international transportation system. What are the characteristics of international multimodal transport? International multimodal transport requires a multimodal transport contract. The contract must clearly outline the rights, obligations, responsibilities, and exemptions between the combined transport operator and the shipper. It must be a continuous transport involving two or more modes of transportation. A multimodal transport document covering the entire journey must be used. It pertains to international cargo transportation. A single combined transport operator is responsible for overseeing the entire transport process. A unified and predetermined freight rate must be applied, including the total of individual segment fees, operational management costs, and reasonable profits. In summary, the requirements for international multimodal transport can be summarized as two twos and four ones. Two or more countries involved two or more modes of transportation used, one contract with a multimodal transport operator, MTO, 
when unified freight rate is applied, when multimodal transport document was used. After discussing international multimodal transport, let's now take a look at land bridge transport. Land bridge transport refers to that utilizes a transcontinental railway, a continuous mode of transportation or highway system, as a connecting bridge between two continental regions, effectively linking the two ends of the continent through land transportation. Land bridge transport is an economically efficient and rapid modern transport mode. It is commonly used for international trade cargo and offers advantages such as cost effectiveness, shorter transit times, lower rate of cargo damage and loss, and simplified procedures. After learning the key points, let's look at an in-class exercise. The transfer of containerized cargo involves the process of whole container delivery and container unpacking reception. Correspondingly, option B and C should be chosen to container transport. CY to CFS, door to CFS. Analysis demonstration. For full container load, the corresponding destinations are container yards, CY, or direct departure from the factory's door, door. For less than container load, LCL shipments, the corresponding destination is a freight station, CFS. Therefore, we can choose CY to CFS or door to CFS. The transfer of containerized cargo involves the process of whole container delivery and whole container reception. The corresponding container transport options would be choosing B and D, which are CY to CY or door to door. Analysis demonstration. As full container load corresponding to container yards CY or direct departure from factory's door, door. The appropriate container transport options would be CY to CY, door to door, CY to door, or door to CY. After completing the in-class practice, we have additional exploration and improvement exercises for self-study. Please actively think about it. Thank you for listening.